All of us has to understand when we talk about bone marrow transplant, there are many myths in this country which are associated. First thing is breaking the bones and taking out the bone marrow. Second is a last procedure. Third, it's a painful procedure. But let me ask, if we see a data of AML, what is the survival rate without transplant? 10-20%. So understand, bone marrow transplant has been shredded with mystery by virtue because every time we use it in the end. So garbage in, garbage out. Bone marrow transplant is you need to understand. Bone marrow transplant is of two types, autologous and allogenic. Autologous is basically done in multiple myeloma, lymphoma and other pediatric disorders. In allogenic transplant, it is of three types, sibling transplant, match unrelated donor transplant and the advancements in technology has led to what is called haplotransplant which is T-cell depleted or T-cell replete means we have depleted the T-cell or with T-cells which is a newer modality which has become popularized in last two years. Okay, So once we say transplant is happening, where does the stem cell come from? The stem cell come from the hand. We give certain injection to the donor, stem cells come from the bone marrow to the peripheral blood and just like a platelet transfusion, platelet collection, you are put on the machine for 30 minutes, 40 minutes or 4 hours depending upon the weight and the size of the recipient and you collect the stem cells. So stem cell transplant is not a surgery. You don't get anesthesia. You don't get a tube inside. Okay, What you get a shot every day. Once that is done, how do you transfuse? Again through the vein. Because my stem cells knows where their home is. I put it through this vein, this vein, this vein, any vein, within 48 hours they go and settle down in the bone marrow and start producing red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. So understand bone marrow transplant is not a last option. It is the first option for a bad disease de defined by bad chromosomes. We need to understand. It's a first, first line of treatment for sickle cell, for thalassemia for primary immunodeficiencies, for multiple myeloma, for lymphoma and numerous diseases we can enumerate upon.